our way to see the 385 blow-ups in Valley Point. There he is. It's a rainy night, but we're running out of lights to do this. Just around the corner to the left are the inflatables. I see cars parked at the barn and they aren't plugged in yet. Hoping they are. Going to plug them in. Turning off to find a parking space. And we will sit and wait to see. And we're not alone. We have others parked beside us. We're being greeted by some dogs. The inflatables have not been inflated yet. This is what they look like before they're inflated, turned on. It's going to be amazing when they're turned on. Dog still sees us. Way up on the hill, on wires and trees. I look from this end. Here's a look at the trees. They've pretty much peaked in color and they're starting to lose their leaves. And this is a little piece of the barn that's left that they say that there's parking where you can park here to get to walk where the ropes are in the yard. This is the first year they've done this where you can go up and look at the inflatables. A little disappointed heading home at 7 p.m and they didn't inflate them tonight. It's a rainy night. Others sat and waited with us. Just didn't happen tonight. Going to try again. It's Monday night, the day before Halloween, and we're on our way to see the 385 inflatables toward Brewston. Paul's the escort. We have our buddy in the back. It's trying to take a nap. Still raining. There's the iron furnace we're passing down over the hill, which is someplace nice to stop. Dream Mountain Ranch. We're almost here. Down by the barn. And I see they're up. So excited. We're gonna get out in the rain with an umbrella. We're gonna check this all out. No one waiting, not yet. So there are signs on both ends. It says caution. Halloween inflatables ahead. You can park at the barn for future reference. Across the street are the inflatables. This is what it looks like when you come down one end of the road. And that's the other end of the road. The rain is not helping any, but they're up. I'm so excited that they're up. One with glowing red eyes. I like the ones that are flying. They all are neat and wonderful. I hear the dogs are on the porch or close by waiting on us. We'll check them out too. Start on one end and walk to the other. It's pretty windy out. Ghosts are flying in the wind. This must be the ghost section. Lots of ghosts. And it is windy. Trees on the mountain behind them pretty much lost their leaves. The weather's been nice the last couple days, but it's going to turn cold. Here we have some more flying. That is so neat how they've done this. We have some witches, some bats. Flying high. This must be the Frankenstein section. This guy's a little shook up. 
they're offering a hand couple hands several hands some baby Frankenstein tiny Frankenstein one with a pacifier minion a green minion standing too close to the hazardous waste but please don't open it have lots of babies pink babies someone's got a knife trick-or-treat Chucky it's killing it since 1978 these are so neat they've done a fantastic job the skeletons hanging out look like some glow-in-the-dark ones just hanging out like they have their pets everybody's just chilling we have glowing eyes biter hands skeletons but they look neat at night some pumpkins there's a border of lights all around where you can walk and be safe and keep the inflatables safe some pumpkins with some lights there's a little row of lights with decorative pumpkins we have some ghost crawlers starting to get dark little by little there's a lot of nice, neat things hanging from the lines above. So this is this section. We have Paul flying the drone above. We have another string of pumpkins. Finds the driveway. Here we have some little miniature ghosts. I'm not sure what they are. See a tree? Ghosts? big lineup of them. They go all the way around and around and they just keep on going. I'm being watched from the window. Blinking eyes. This one has a turning head. Ooh, so creepy. He doesn't want to look at me. Towering above is a super big Grim Reaper with red hands. Happy Halloween from the ghosts. Got a neat hot rod. Ghoul rod. Outhouse. Oh, someone's in there. It is occupied. Bye. There he goes. Tree. There's a house. Purple house. Great color. That tree would like to give you a hug. Probably one hug. One hug would do it. But, no thank you. Nope. Still no. Bye bye. Here's the Halloween house. Archway. Happy Halloween. And way up behind it, there's a super tall guy. Pumpkin Man. There we have a rest in peace. And another house. Archway, hallway. Kids would have fun with that. There's so many unique de decorations here. Amazing. Great taste. Ooh, wow, look at the big ones back there. Tall. How tall do you think they are? Taller than I am, I know. Clubhouse. But it says ghost only. Means we're out. Scarecrow? I think he's trying to get the pumpkin, but it's out of reach. This one looks like he's got his pumpkin. It's got some leaves stuck from the tree above. Pumpkin people. And there is a spider. I think it's a tree, a black tree. Trick or treat clown. Ooh, it's clown section. Happy Halloween, killer clowns. I want to play a game. Do you? Is the ice cream truck. Ice cream for ice cream. Can you scream for ice cream? More clowns. More clowns on the corner. An archway. We need to go through the archway. Here we go. Umbrella and all. And we fit. Oh, there we go. Oops, 
This guy needs a little help. Oops. Let's get him up. Okay. He's up. He's got some leaves stuck to his head too. The tree is attacking the clowns. Nine mile per hour winds according to my watch. There we have clown spinning buttons. Mesmerizing. There we go. I hear the drone. Right, there is the drone. There's Paul running the drone. Scary clowns, happy clowns, lots of clowns. Happy Halloween clowns. Pirates and ghosts. Ooh, a dragon. More pirates, more pirates, a couple more pirates, and a ship. I like the ship. And that is a big pirate minion. That's pretty cool. That's pretty big too. There's another pirate ship. We've got a pirate on the top, spinning around, looking at stuff. I spy Paul and Jill videoing me. Yep, he's busy. Busy looking. Oh, more pirates. These are some elaborately big, really nice dragons. They are nice. It sees us with the glowing green eyes. Big Dracula. Super big. They, we've, oh, that's a pretty colored one. Little vampire. Vampire bat. We have a Dracula in the coffin. But I think that the weight of the rain is keeping the coffin lid from slamming shut. It is definitely raining. There are puddles and the grass is super wet, but it's never too late. So we made it late, but it's never too late. You guys are cool. Dracula section here, more Draculas. He's throwing axes, hatchets, there's a bat. There's a dog with wings and another arch. His eyes are a little dirty because he's been laying in the, the mud and the rain that we've had for several days now. I feel for him. Got to pass through this one. This was an ice cream entrance. This is what we just passed through. There's a bus. Now we have some little bats. Pumpkin. Word spooky, very spooky. Grim Reapers, things where the rain is kind of smashing them, videoing as they go by. Here they have a donation box. We're going to give them a donation to help out with their cost, and we appreciate everything that they've done. Here's twenty dollars, guys, to help with the Halloween Toon Town. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. We have some ghosts and some pumpkin posts and some little girls. Trick or treats, wicked, happy Halloween. We have a little ghostbuster. There's a bear, scary bear, an owl, trick or sleep. Got our night clothes on. And some pumpkins. That looks like the gremlin from the movie years ago. If you remember, the skulls, some more pumpkins. Don't forget, there's 385 of these. There are a lot. Heading up the hill. Hope we can get to them all before it's dark and then we'll check them out when it's dark. Witch and her cauldron. That's a pretty pumpkin with a hat. Witch pumpkin. There's a frog in the cauldron and a rocket. Halloween is coming, it says. There's a witch attached to riding on. Instead of a broom riding a rocket, three ladies, it says, rest in peace. 
Here lies the body of Emily Binks, which is a little wet. Wow. She is not happy. Now she's looking at us. Spinning around. And I can't do that, can you? And there her head goes. Some more witches. And gather around the sisters, it says. I hear squeaky eyes. Very, very tall. I don't know. That takes a lot of air for those. The tree with the spinning eyes. On we go. Little Lucy. But she's having fun. More witches. The witch section. And up on the hill. Way on the hill. Oh, it's got the drone on the hill. A lot of pumpkin people. An arch. And some people that have rain and they're kind of leaning over. The pumpkins down around the corner to the witch, witch section. Spider section. We have purple, green, red and gray. Lots of black ones. Lots of little spiders. Ooh, now this is neat. It is a person with a pumpkin coach and the pumpkins down inside makes it look like a pumpkin until it pops up and says ooh well how different that's neat that's very neat cat section it's a very highly trafficked slow down. They go slow so the children can see as they pass by. Look at the little ones. There they go. Happy. It makes everybody happy. Because it's so cool. Go from cat section to the minion section. And above on the porch we have some decorations. Cobwebs and bats. Flowers up here. We have tall decoration, one of his moving arms, and some alien looking something. Comment below if you like. Help me out. Some little guys holding pumpkins, staring with smiles, making us feel welcome. Ooh, a couple. A couple and a dog. Green with envy. Another different green guy. He's got dice. The other guy has a spider. Doll. Deadly nightshade. Balloon town. And we can thank the styles and loudons and listings for all of this. Three weeks. Oops, not a truck. Three weeks, they say, to, to put this up. I'm sure that was three weeks of hard work. Because there's a lot here. A lot. Down toward the road. Ooh, another archway to go. This one is a Disney's Tim Burton's The Nightmare Before Christmas. This says, Welcome to Halloween Town. Here we go. Gotta get the umbrella through. The slow driving car. Everybody appreciates. It's getting really slow. Videoing with a dog in the back seat. There's a lot of videos of this place. Keeps memories alive with a video. Documenting it for years to come. Little school bus. Now we have a graveyard. Two little graveyards. Lots of tombstones. Vampires. Ooh, we have some hanging stuff. And a couple of the tombstones are having a little bit of difficulty. But hey, that's okay. This is so cool. Glad we didn't miss out. Remember, it's never too late. Better late than never. I like this guy. Looking for treats. We didn't bring any treats. We're still looking. Hope I'm not the treat. You better beware. Yes. It's starting to get dark. 
so it's going to be fun. We have some more honey. There's the guy with the glowing eyes. More two stains and pumpkins and skulls. Oh my, just keep on going. He gets a heart. Down to the last bin we go. Then we'll see it in the dark. On the night. But Freddy Krueger, does anyone remember Freddy Krueger? Nightmare on Elm Street. Those are scary movies. There's a mummy coming up out of the ground. It looks like a devil. Lots of people coming out of the ground. This is out of the ground section. Yep, I think he took his head off. Hats off to you, hats off to you. Ooh, another Freddy Krueger. Oh, it's different. All of them are unique. All of them are different. Okay, this is the back side. I'm not going to walk to the front of it. This section is a little bit in the woods. Lots of leaves from the trees on the ground. And this is this section as we walk our way back toward the middle. See how the cars slow down so they can all have a look. It's something you just don't see every day. Here's the view from this section. darker everything's starting to glow a little bit more this is how the rain is just standing there's so much of it it has nowhere to go from here to the hill and just one little corner it's so beautiful here it's so bright it's getting dark I think the ice cream truck has been attacked by the leaf tree a view from the clown corner dusk. Still not quite dark dark. I figured out it's impossible to get all 385 in one shot. See how neat this is? They're glittering and glowing in the dark. This is what they look like in the dark. There are some standing behind me. Ghost glowing on the wires. Dina Stiles said the layout design is their daughter Jennifer Loudon's idea. She does a great job, she said. She said they are her crew. As I'm walking along, I'm finding ones that I've missed. They're in every little corner of the yards. This is Dina and Mark Styles, two of the people that are responsible for putting all of this up. You guys like to say anything? We want to thank the community for um, driving by, the ones who have been able to stop in and, and, and walk through. Just, it's very humbling to us and when we hear the kids all excited, it just pulls at the heartstrings. So, thank you. Mark? <laughs> we thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, thank you, because this is amazing. Well, thank you so much. So of all the blow-ups you have here, you don't seem to have any duplicates. Um, actually, we have, out of the 363 that are up, sorry, 358 that were up, we have four duplicates. Well, actually, maybe two. The ones that are at the end of our driveway, there's two bats and two spiders, and that's just our greeting theme that comes into our garden. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> Down here on this end. Have some others in the rain with umbrellas visiting also, checking out the inflatables. Last look before we go home. My feet are pretty wet and my hands are pretty cold, but it was nice visiting with Dina and Mark. I learned a lot. It was interesting. I'll be back next year. This is amazing.
pretty dark. Still a little bit to go, but we're pretty cold. And I'm gonna call it almost done. They said when the inflatables are down and it rains, they fill up with water. So there's a lot to get them up and going. And they let them go until 10 o'clock at night. And they have power at three different houses. And each house turns theirs off at night. They said on Saturday night, they had a pretty good crowd. And people were so excited that they found that they got to walk through it. They're hoping they have a good crowd on Halloween on Tuesday. That's tomorrow. You can see the inflatables in all the different layers as they go up the hill. As I stand here, you can hear the motors of all the inflatables making their soft noise to keep them all up and going. Cars are still going by quite slowly. They say cars will come from all over and they'll drive up and down the road so they can get a view. Then they said some people got excited because they realized they get to walk through it this year. Cars are creeping by. Someone got upset, honked the horn, and they're going around. They've had enough. Don't forget, you can leave a donation to help out with the costs or more inflatables. Wouldn't that be wonderful? They do look quite different in the dark. They look good during the daylight and the dark. Here's the inflatables on the far corner. Up on the hill. Getting pretty windy. We're getting pretty cold, so we're gonna have to stop looking and go home. I keep saying one last look, one last look. I hate to leave, but I am gonna have to go as the cars creep up very slowly with their flashers on so they don't get run over.